The management of General Motors and the UAW are pledging a new spirit of cooperation as they enter this set of negotiations. Having survived bankruptcy and the government bailout, they say they want to prove they can negotiate a settlement that keeps the auto giant viable. We also recognize that we've been given a second chance. And you don't often get to say that. We take it seriously. We know it's our responsibility to follow through on that second chance. And we want to show the world what we can do when we do work together. UAW President Bob King vowed to use proof of their cooperation to organize the foreign auto plants operating in America. We're going to organize the transplants facilities in America because we're going to level the competitive playing field for our membership of General Motors. Employees tell us they're most concerned about keeping their jobs. Job security, new hires, bringing in new people, uh, future for the young people. Chairman Dan Ackerson, who came from outside the industry, says they must maintain their new discipline and keep costs down. We're focused uh, jointly on managing our structural cost, but at the same time giving opportunity to, uh, to share the success of the company going forward. It's important for both sides to show the American people that there's a new spirit of cooperation. It's especially important to the UAW as they are trying to organize the foreign automakers. In Hamtramck, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7, Action News.